Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to build this oscilloscope using LCD 5110 display and the Arduino Nano. Without wasting time, let's get started. Before getting started, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new video. This is the PCB I designed for the oscilloscope using 5110 LCD display. These high quality PCBs are ordered from JLC PCB for just $2. To order PCBs, go to jlcpcb.com and log in with your account. After logging into the account, click on Quite Now. Then add your Gerber files. You can get the PC disk download for only $2. After successfully uploading your Gerber files, you can change the properties below here and then can't save to the card. Then check out securely to get delivered your PC disk soon. The first we will start with inserting the registers on the board. The R12, R5 are the 10 kilo ohms, the R6 is 330 ohms and R7 to R9 are 10 kilo ohms. The R6 is 330 ohms and remaining all are 10 kilo ohms. Now we will first solder these resistors. Now first we will solder the header pins here and here and here too. Take the measurement of the Arduino Nano and break the strip. Now solder this terminal block. Now we have soldered the, all the parts. Now we need to insert these parts into the board and we need to upload the code to the Arduino Nano. The first I will insert this LCD display. Here you can see the reset is pointed towards here and the reset is here. Now I will rotate this and insert this. Some LCD modules will have the header pins on the below and the top. In such a case you will get the reset on the top. Then the LCD will come to below. Then the LCD comes here not the upper part. So make sure you have inserted properly. And I am inserting this Arduino Nano board. From this header pin, you can give the input to the oscilloscope. The below one is the input and the upper one is the ground. Before uploading the code to the Arduino, you need to install the two libraries. One is the Adafruit GFX and another is the Adafruit PCD8544. After including these libraries, you can connect your Arduino Nano board. the tools to select your code and then click on upload button the code is uploaded now you can see the oscillations over here 
Now I will connect the header pins. This pin is the ground and this pin is the input. To adjust the contrast, click on the middle button. You can see the contrast increasing to decrease press the key 3 to increase press the key 1 to decrease press the key 3 and to change or to turn on or off the backlight click on the key 2 again now the mode is shifted to backlight to turn on or off press the key 1 it is off now to turn on again press the key 1 it will be on and then press the key 2 it will be shift to the axis setting here you can adjust the y axis x axis and time domain the samples which we you can see on the display if you want to adjust the y axis in, to increase the axis press on the key 1 so that it will be increased to decrease the y axis press the key 3 And to shift the uh, y axis to x axis, press the key 2 again. Then it will shift from y axis to x axis. To adjust for the increasing the value, press the key 1. For decreasing the value, press the key 3. The key it reminds the number of samples we have taken in the time domain to show the output on the display. If you want to exit the menu, press the key 2 till the exit appears. And Click on key 1. The menu will be closed. That's all in this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.